Okay, to install a device or a camera on the U-Box or the iCam Plus app, go to device down the bottom left hand corner, click add device. Now, if you're setting up a Wi-Fi camera, you need to set up a Wi-Fi device and you can go through the prompts with that. Now, if you're using a Wi-Fi device, you must make sure that your modem is uh, operating on 2.4 gigahertz and not the 5 gigahertz. Most new modems have a dual band with 2.4 and 5. You need to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and on your phone you must be connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi in your modem as well uh, in order to be able to pick up that device. Now I'm using a 4G device so I'm going to click uh, set up 4G device. Insert the SIM card, install the camera, install the antenna, then power on the device. The blue LED will light up. After about one minute, click next. So if you do not have a blue light and the light is red, do not hit next, the camera will not set up correctly. So you must wait for the blue light and in some cases it can take up to 90 seconds. So um, just be patient, wait for the blue light and then hit next. If you do not have a blue light and it's still red, uh, make sure that the SIM card is inserted correctly. Make sure that you have credit on the, on the SIM card, uh, it has to be data credit and make sure that the SIM card is activated and working by putting in it in a mobile phone and checking you can access the internet uh, on that, that SIM card to make sure it's actually working. Um, so then once you've got your blue light, you hit next and you'll scan the QR code. Scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. Now, I've already set this device up and I've had to repair the device for this exercise. If you do have to um, delete the device off your phone and repair it, you will need to do a reset. To do a reset, you need to take the screw and cover off at the back underneath the camera where the SIM card and SD card goes. There is a little white button. If you press and hold that for 10 seconds, you'll hear it will say system reset. System reset. You must have power on to be able to do this. So we're going to do this again. Set up 4G device. Scan the QR code on the camera. Name and address. Using default name and address can go to the next step directly. Okay, so in this section, uh, I'm going to name the device uh, driveway, you could have driveway, front door, um, left hand side of the building, whatever you want to call it. Um, and in the this section here, this is your site, so I've just called it front, um, I probably should have called this either home, you can have home, office, farm, um, site A, site B, site C, you can have different sites and different cameras on each site. Uh, you can have multiple cameras per site uh, and you can also have multiple users access these. So I'm going to hit next after renaming that camera. Camera installed successfully. Fully charge the camera at first use. Okay, so make sure that you uh, have the camera fully charged and uh, that camera has been set up successfully. So you can just uh, click to click on the photo and that will actually access that camera. And uh, we will go through a few different settings that you can change. So if I just go back, I'll just go into a few settings to show you. Uh, if you go to the me section down the bottom right hand side, uh, if you want to set up cloud service, you just click cloud service. Uh, you can uh, sign up for that, and uh, or if you're using an SD card, you don't need to worry about that. My friends, you can add in your friends. You can add a friend, and you can basically add uh, multiple users to be able to access these cameras. In common settings, you need to uh, 
check these settings here. So the default resolution, which is SD, um, is standard. Now, if you put this to HD, which is high definition, uh, this will um, have a higher resolution, but it will also use a lot more data and it will use more storage on your SD card. So SD um, doesn't mean it's recording to SD. You can still use cloud storage with SD. It just means the resolution of how um, high quality the image will be. Now, um, make sure you've got alarm, vibration, ringtone, um, and all these settings turned on if you do want to be notified uh, when there's motion detected. And if we go into the notification settings, uh, we can uh, have a look at the auto run. What you want to do is you want to make sure that the notifications are allowed and the permissions have uh, camera location, microphone and storage saved. Uh, so if you, if you don't have these set, you won't be notified when there's motion detected. Uh, permission will basically take you into the same uh, same uh, category here or the same settings on your phone. Uh, battery uh, will just make sure it's it's not coming up now, but uh, I've already set this uh, to set to run in the background. Um, if you're using a battery saving mode on your phone, like a power saver, uh, it may disable this app. So if you turn on power saving or battery saving, or if you have any apps on your phone that uh, save battery, then they may disable this app and you may not receive notifications when there's motion. So just make sure you've got all those disabled so the app can uh, run in the background continuously. Um, you've got frequently asked questions here. If you do have any um, issues with the app on how to set it up or any um, certain things, make sure you check out the frequently asked questions because there is some helpful information there. Um, and now if we go to uh, device, uh, what you can do is you can see the little bell icon has a line through it. This means the notifications have been turned off and I'm not going to be notified when there's motion detected. I'm going to click that and turn that on because I do want to be notified uh, of uh, any motion. And if I hit the little settings cog, uh, that'll take you uh, to some of the settings here. So if we go into shared permissions, basically you can share this, this camera with other users. Accept uh, call, this is... Um, <clears throat> This is how it notifies you. So, uh, call in is the loudest and most um, uh, no, yeah, noticeable notification. If you just do notification, it'll just be a, a like a bell or a, you know whatever notification tone on your phone. Call in is definitely the best option. Now, cloud service. Um, as I said, we can set this up. With uh, we're not going to use this at the moment, but uh, you can set that up. And if you go into SIM card, there's some details here as well on that. Now, if we click on the photo of the camera, this is how you go in to view the uh, camera videos and images and live view and some more settings on, on the camera. Okay, so um, we're gonna look at a few settings on how to set this up correctly. Now, the first thing I'm gonna look at is, is at the top left-hand corner where it says SD. If you change that to HD, <clears throat> that's the same as the settings before where uh, there's uh, it's recording in high definition compared to like standard definition or, you know, uh, which is a better format for the SD card. You've got the, um, the 4G signal. Now, generally, you will only have one to two bars. It's not like a mobile phone. Um, you, even with one or two bars, you still will have good service. So don't stress if you if you only got one or two bars. You can see the battery icon with the green icon to see if it's fully charged or how much battery um, power is left. And the little eye with the one is uh, how many people are viewing this camera right now. Okay. Now, if we look at the light bulb over here, we can turn this to the red uh, dots and circles. So this means that I've just disabled the uh, motion detected security light that comes on at night time when someone walks past the camera and this will just operate on uh, infrared night vision which means you'll get a black and white night vision. If you want to use the light, click it again until the light bulb icon comes on and this will give you a colored night vision. 
Now, if we click on the little uh, arrows over here, this will bring up uh, the arrows to be ac actually be able to pan, tilt, and uh, control the camera. You can move it um, right, move it left, look up, look down. And um, if you can just swipe on the screen to get back to your recordings. Now, uh, one thing you need to set up straight away, this is very important, is on the, the gray bar, you've got a cloud icon, which if you click it, it switches between TF and cloud. Now, if you've got cloud storage set up, you need to use cloud, and this will show all your videos uh, down the bottom here in the cloud section. If you're using an SD card or a TF card, which is the same thing, um, basically, uh, you will have all the recorded videos uh, down here that uh, that from all the recordings that you've got. Now, you can obviously click on them, and uh, if you click on that, it'll actually... So you can stop, so you can go go back to live. Um, so that'll that'll replay. If you click on the videos, you can go back and, and re-watch the videos. Um, on the little arrows here, you can see that I'm changing um, dates. Uh, and if you click on the date itself, you'll actually bring up a calendar. The red, uh, the orange R means that there's recordings on this date. So I've only just set this up now because um, I've repaired it. So there's no previous recordings. But you can select the dates of where there's recordings, and then you can go back, you can scroll through the times on the left-hand side, how many seconds it was recorded, and you can go and view those recordings. Now, uh, there's a few other features. So, moving on from the TF card, you've got uh, the record button, and this means you're actually physically recording now. So let's just say you were viewing live on your camera and you've seen something suspicious or some criminal activity or something you wanted to record, you can start recording it and then uh, click it again to stop that recording. Now the button in the middle, this is... You can hear that that's actually the microphone uh, to speak to people. So you can uh, speak to people uh, on your phone and it will uh, use the microphone on the, uh, the speaker on the camera to actually uh, speak to them through the camera. Now, if you want to have a two-way conversation or hear what's going on, the icon on the very left where it's, uh, that's the sound uh, with the microphone on the camera to actually hear what's going on on site as well as see see what's going on. Now, if you get some horrible sounds come through when you start using the microphone and speaker, it's because you're right close to the camera and uh, it's picking up the phone audio as well as the camera audio. So just uh, move away from the camera and that will fix that. If you um, hit the little photo camera icon, that will take a photo of what's going on right now. And if you click the little box with the line line there, you will actually get the full full screen version. And you can click the little uh, close close that to to go back there as well. So uh, if we go back. Uh, this will take you back to the main menu, and if you click the little home button um, up the top left, these are all your different sites. So it's it comes under the category of family, um, which is basically your site. So you could have home, office, farm, you know, construction site one, construction site two, uh, whatever whatever sites you want, and you can add add more Enter sites there. Enter your location there. or family name. Um, now, you can go to album, and you can actually go uh, over and see all of the recordings on here as well uh, in your app uh, under album. Now, that what just happened then was a motion detect and detection, and that, um, that actually... Uh, was yeah motion detected and it called in to let me know that there was recordings. Now I'm going to click the settings icon up the top right hand side, uh, that little cog. Now this is very important to update these settings 
to how you want to use the device. So these are different, these are settings that are specific to this camera. If you've, if you've got multiple cameras, you can change the settings for each camera. The first one is memory card. Um, it says cloud video. If you've got cloud storage, then that's fine. Um, if you don't have cloud storage, then leave that unticked. Uh, image flip will actually change the image upside down, um, you know, and mirror it. And there's a few other settings. Uh, I would just leave that on normal unless you've got a specific mode. Scene mode is all different types of scenes. You can just go through them and then go back and have a look at the difference uh, on the image quality. You will actually change the image quality to uh, suit what the scene is of where the camera is. Now, detection sensitivity, this is very important that you have this set to what you want. Uh, if you're not picking up motion and you're not picking up the, the motion that you want to record, make sure it's set to high. If, you're getting, if you've got it set to high and you're getting false alarms, um, from, you know, things that you don't want to record and you're getting too many notifications, you can just lower it to medium or low and it won't pick up as much motion. Um, if you, uh, if you want to turn the motion off altogether to save, uh, power and also save on data and save on your recordings, you can turn it off, um, ha and just use the camera for live view so you don't have to um, you don't get notified and it's not, it won't record basically unless you physically make it record manually. The active time is how long it will record for. Um, so it, when motion detected is detected, it will record for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, or continuously. If you use always, it will drain the battery and use a lot of uh, data. If there's constant motion happening, you will be recording a lot more than, um, you know, uh, yeah, it'll record a lot. So just be mindful of that. Power frequency you can leave. Um, LED indicator is, uh, you can either enable or disable this. If you want to go into stealth mode and don't really let anyone know that there's a camera there and don't want any lights showing, you can disable that. Uh, you can change the device name, synchronize the time here, uh, which will synchronize the time to your phone. And if you need to do a firmware update, if you're having issues with the camera, click on firmware update and that will uh, basically update the firmware on that camera. And that should uh, clear any issues if you're having any issues with that camera. Okay, so I've done a firmware update, <clears throat> and uh, I'm just going to go back to TF card. Uh, I must have accidentally selected the cloud storage. Um, so that's uh, pretty well goes over um, all the settings in how to set up your camera correctly.